pleasure to introduce Mr. Neeraj Shukla. Mr. Shukla is the CEO founder of Schoolingberg International Private Limited and Global HVAC Consultants. He has professional expertise in HVAC, MEP and EPC sectors. An HVAC specialist turned entrepreneur and captivated by HVAC field's potential. His journey started in Dubai, culminating his numerous successful projects across globe sectors like marine, oil and gas industries. Establishing a niche in HVAC consultancy for specialized projects, Mr. Neeraj co-founded EdTech Venture School in the Global. Its platform empowers MEP HVAC professionals fostering skill enhancement and career excellence. Today, Mr. Shukla will briefly overview us about passive design and OEM strategies for HVAC energy efficiency. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Mr. Neeraj Shukla. When we talk about the energy efficient system design, the first step starts with the ambient ambient conditions, how much we should take. Then the major problem comes. We go for a maximum one and select the system. Second thing is whole we consider the design safety factors, latent load, this load, that load, convenient load, then uh, the contingency load. And you over design the system. The moment you over design the system, it underperforms. And as we all know, the penny saved is the penny earned. Same way, the energy saved is the energy earned. The moment we are over designed the system, all other, whatever system you select, whatever the component you select, based on that parameters, they start underperform. The energy efficiency drastically drops down. So first step comes with the proper designing of a system with the right parameters. Take a historic data available and design the system based on that. Second thing is that what kind of material you select while designing. Now there are a lot of materials which are in a, which can conserve or save energy. Like green roof is there. Like many other line, and you can put a uh, coated film on your solar uh, on your uh, window panels. That that can reduce your energy to a lot, lot, lot of exchange. But these parameters are often overlooked. And of course, the building owners are one of the responsible uh, stakeholders that they don't invest much enough to buy this kind of a material which can conserve the energy to a great extent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is one question from uh, in the chat box. How to achieve net zero carbon emission? Net zero carbon emission is a very generic term and it is again a holistic term. It is not only pertaining to HVAC, but all industries in tandem working together. HVAC is one of the energy consumption, but there are many other industries which come together. Though India has a target to achieve net zero carbon emission figures, but still it is one of the, this is very generic uh, question in my opinion. But anyway, it's an important question, but as far as HVAC is concerned, it's just one of the piece of the entire uh, puzzle. So, uh, okay. And when it comes to the passive energy management, is how you operate and maintain the system. So you have designed a system, now system is in your hand. Suppose we are not calibrating the sensors periodically. It will not give the right figures or it will not cut off the system at the right parameters. The person will feel cold inside. He will feel 24. He will feel that it's 20 to 24. But in reality, it could be much lesser because it has not been calibrated. And your machine is consuming the energy. So first is calibrate the sensors periodically. Uh, then clean your filters periodically, maintain, change the oils of the systems periodically, take care of the, your equipment periodically, maintain it in the right way, and change with the technologies periodically. That And retrofitting is also, with, if any machine which is very old in the industry, a lot of, suppose a chiller 25 years old, that will retrofit and change it with a new one. And, uh, use of a vapor absorption system also you have to evaluate based on your ROI and what is the industry use. Suppose you are in pharmaceutical industry, then you can use a wasted uh, steam and uh, there's excess steam there from the boiler which you can use for uh, your vapor absorption system. Uh, this has been implemented in one of uh, my clients in Pfizer. They have used it. So they have used excess steam to produce this you know, vapor absorption cycle and they are saving a good amount of energy over there. So such kind of passive energy also uh, management system also like uh, thermal insulation. 
use of fried thermal insulation also can save the energy to the great extent so these are the passive uh, energy management strategies which can which you can use to reduce uh, the energy consumption uh, energy consumption this is what my thoughts are thank you mr shukla for sharing and highlighting the significance of passive design and oem strategies for hpac energy efficiency